Hello everyone and welcome back to the Dotsification YouTube channel and as we all know yesterday was the official release day in Australia for The Hobbit Unexpected Journey and yes I did see it and oh was it amazing now I'm going into this movie my heart was pumping I've been waiting for this movie forever um and I was not disappointed in watching it um there was a few things I would have liked to see differently but overall the movie was just fantastic I loved all the characters all the dwarves um you know not all of them were um kind of character developed but uh, for the most part they were pretty cool and I, all the dwarves were fantastic. Um, the orcs, uh, the goblin king and all that, I loved it all. It was really fantastic and um, one of my favourite scenes was the riddles in the dark scene. That was a scene that I was looking forward to for ages. I was really, I, well, that was one of the high, um, highlight scenes I was waiting for to see in the film and oh, it was just really cool. I could have watched that riddles in the dark scene for ages. That was the scene between Gollum and Bilbo, for those that don't know, but ah, uh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, I, one, one thing that I thought was a little off was um, the transition from old Bilbo to young Bilbo, and then when Bilbo meets Gandalf, I think that happened too fast, um, but it wasn't too bad, but yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be like, boom, it just happened straight away. Um, the prologue was awesome though, I really loved um, how uh, Ian Holm was narrating um, the when Smog took over the Lonely Mountain and destroyed Dale and all that. That was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, overall the movie I thought was fantastic. I absolutely loved it. Um, not, a, uh, yeah, not real. I don't really have a problem with it. You know, it was just a minor thing that bit at the start with um, the fast transition from old Bilbo to young Bilbo and then Gandalf meeting him. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I thought it was alright. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not disappointed with the film. I <laughs> absolutely loved it. Uh, yeah, that's really the only complaint I had. I loved all the scenes. I loved the troll scene especially. The trolls were awesome. They were really funny. Um, yeah, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to spoil too much in this video. I'm going to do a video after this where I just talk about all the spoilers. Um, I really love all the connecting scenes with Lord of the Rings. I mean, uh, we do see Weathertop and... Um, some characters, which I'll talk about in a spoiler review. But uh, yeah, overall the movie is fantastic. Definitely go see it if you haven't already. If you're a Tolkien fan, you're going to love it. Um, of course the movie is different from the book. Um, you know, there's more in the movie that doesn't happen in the book. And there's certain things that have been changed. For instance, um, I didn't know this before, but the Dwarves' quest is kind of changed a bit. In the, bo in the book, the Dwarves are going to the Lonely Mountain. To reclaim their gold, whereas in the movie they're going to the Lonely Mountain to reclaim their homeland. So there's a bit of a difference in the dwarves' quest from the book to the movie, but um, I think it works really nicely in the movie. I think it makes more sense and it makes it more emotional. And yeah, um, my favourite character is obviously Bilbo Baggins. I think he was just fantastic. Martin Freeman played him perfectly. Um, yeah. No, Martin Freeman did everything perfectly in that film. I think he was just fantastic and a very unlikely hero. He was amazing. He really pulled that off that he's a hobbit that has no idea about the outside world, outside the Shire. And it, I really liked how it showed him adapting to the situation he's been put in. It's just really cool. And Foreign Oakenshield was really awesome as well. Um, you know, he was a ruthless leader. I liked how he wasn't too fond of Bilbo. I love the relationship between him and Bilbo. I think that was done perfectly. Um, and yeah, you know, this is really cool. I'll talk, about, I'll talk about that more in the spoiler review, but yeah, I'm trying not to say too much in this video, but um, yeah, overall the movie is fantastic. 10 out of 10. I'm definitely going to see it again. I'm going to see it on the weekend a couple of times. Um, I haven't checked out 48 frames uh, yet. I'll check that out on the weekend probably, but um, yeah, I've sort in the normal 3D, and uh, the 3D was actually really good. Um, there was certain scenes where it looked absolutely fantastic, because um, usually when I watch 3D movies, I just I don't really notice the 3D much, but in this one it was really there. It felt really cool, um, and yeah, yeah, just really cool. Um, the movie was absolutely fantastic, like I keep saying, but uh, yeah, I oh, super excited. Um, I would have reviewed it tomorrow, but tomorrow I was just processing everything, and it was just, it's amazing. And yeah, so that's pretty much all I can talk about in this non-spoiler video review, but uh, stay tuned for my spoiler 
review of the movie coming up right now. See you later. Bye.